Hello everyone, Anthony Wilson here. Welcome back to Magic Talk. Today I'm not going to be covering any deck lists. I'm not going to be talking about any events. I'm going to be talking about some magic news that, that kind of hit me a little close to home uh, recently. A couple of things that I'm kind of upset about. Maybe uh, maybe you guys can help me out or or maybe you share in my grief. I don't know. But the uh, the first thing I want to talk about, it's a little bit lighter, so we'll start there, is I want to thank the guys at Yo MTG, Yo MTG Taps at uh, IWantMyMTG.com. They gave me a, a plug on their Twitter, and they tweeted my uh, YouTube channel, which got me a few more subscribers. So thank you guys. And if you guys want any magic news or would like to listen to any magic podcasts, these are very, very enlightening and very educational podcasts. So I will post a link to this site down in the description box below so you guys can check it out. It's very good information there. If you love the game, uh, I highly recommend this site to you guys. The next thing I want to talk about is a lot of you have seen recently, if you've watched uh, any of my previous episodes, that I use... Uh, deckcheck.net a lot to get deck lists and stuff because they have tons and tons of deck lists all over the place for any format you could ever dream of they get standard legacy extended vintage even the block tournaments the only thing they don't got is limited uh, for obvious reasons um, but I have just discovered um, moments ago see, this is this episode I, I've not scripted anything this is completely um, completely winging at this time that this message came up when I tried to click on something. It says, please note, because of recent activities from Watsy, Watsy's side, for smaller parts of this and bigger parts of this, which I will get into the, what those are here in a minute, this site will be taken down on October 22nd. This is my, or it's my decision and not some sort of takedown from Hasbro. I do it because I don't support a game that doesn't support its players. I will not I will not sell the site, the domain, or my database, so please refrain from asking. A big thank you very, very much to all players, TOs, and judges who have submitted deck lists and who supported this site during its time being. Truly yours, evil uh, guy I don't even know. I don't even know this guy, but I use this site a lot and it was it was a great site. And for some reason he from, from I guess some grief from Watsy, he is forced to take it down. So I clicked on these, discovered what they said. This one is the me is a message from the same guy. It says apparently this site was working too well for wizards uh, for wizards taste and has been been ordered to be shut down. I respect yeah, I respect that the cards are their property and therefore have no choice but to shut the site yeah, shut down the site despite the fact that several uh Nearly identical sites have been around for years. I was open and willing to make any requested changes, but they seemed pretty pissed and revoked permission to use anything related to, uh, to their products. If you have any questions, I will I will check the site. Or yeah, I will check the emails for a little while at the info at magics uh, da 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 com. And thank you for thank you all for the help with the site. So. Apparently, Watsy has had a problem with uh, posting the list, the deck lists, um, on a site. Apparently, you cannot do that anymore. Uh, at least this guy can't. So I'm not. You click, and all that comes up is just, just this message. No matter what you click on, it just goes straight to the home page and on this message. So he was. He's no longer allowed to post any, any deck lists. And he's taking the site down. So I'm kind of sad by this that uh, Watsy would make him do this. It's pretty. It's pretty, um, it's pretty gay. Um, and this kind of upset me, too. This is the other thing he was talking about, where Wizards Play Network tournament organizers must now be store-affiliated. I know for, for a little while, I was running a tournament out of a, a friend of mine. He has a diner, and I was running tournaments in his diner. Uh, some local friends of mine, uh, the, one of the local tournaments I go to is, is run at a local college. A really good friend of mine, Dan Kegris. Uh, you guys have seen him a couple of times. He runs the events at the uh, at a local college, and they can't have um, F and M's there anymore, which is horrible. They're they're not allowed to do uh, any of that kind of stuff. The guy got to change up what the tournament is. He can still have it, but the fact that they need to make it um, store affiliated, I think, is is total garbage, in my opinion. Um, 
but you know it's it's something that was designed for people that don't want to go to the stores and play against the the tier one players who all have the tier one decks and the expensive cards they want to go to a local tournament where they can just they can just play the game with the deck that they built with other people that are just like them and and have a shot at some cool stuff and some cool prizes and stuff but now you have to go to a store that's affiliated and that's uh, that's to me that just feels like they're trying too hard for money now. They they don't they don't have any concern with the players at all. They they're they're only concerned with their own with their own gain. And um, I could be wrong. This but that's just what it feels like to me. And I do feel for the store owners. I understand that they have rights too to be able to to host their own events. But I feel that Wizards is taking it a little too far with shutting down sites and and forcing tournament organizers to now be store affiliated. So I don't know. I don't I don't know. It's it's really upsetting to me all the stuff that I hear going on lately so anyway that's really all I have for you guys it's just some stuff that kind of hit me close to home and I wanted to talk about it with you guys and mainly I wanted to get you guys input uh, how do you feel about all this how do you feel about um, the site getting taken down and, and wizards and and wizards forcing tournament organizers to be store affiliated what are your thoughts and feelings on this please share it with us down in the comments down section down below let me know what you guys think um, and how you feel about this? I will put, I will post a link to deckcheck.net, this site here, on uh, the description box below. I will also post the link to uh, IWillMyMTG.com uh, for Yo MTG tabs. Thank you guys again. Um, but yeah, please share with me what you guys feel about it. I mean, it's it, some people. It show it goes to show you that a lot of people in the world are only concerned with monetary gains rather than um, just having fun. I know, you know Richard Garfield, he designed the game to be fun and for people to just play and hang out. But Wizard seems to be taking it to another level, and and they, it's not it's not a good thing where they're headed, in my opinion. So, all right, that's all I got for you guys today. I uh, hope to hear from you, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.